What's up, guys? Ramen King here, back in another episode of Xenoblade Chronicles. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> What's up, guys? Ramen King here, back in another episode of Shining Resonance Reframe. Last episode, we dicked around for a while, had not much to do, and uh, what? Oh god damn it, Die! The moment I start streaming or start recording, you start playing Xenoblade Chronicles 2. God fucking damn it. It's funny. The only reason I said that is because while streaming, uh, my friend Die is streaming freaking Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Oh my god. Alright, anyways. Yes. Spirit Seed. What do you need? Which one? There's a vent shit. Which one? Anyways, uh, dungeon rank, Imperial soldiers, post crest. All right, let's do it. Oh, right, we're gonna try out the dungeon again. Into the grimoire, into reality, into the grim, into reality. Side note, for anybody wondering, yes, I am going to probably end up just grinding nothing but these four until Sonya gets her shit. Because I'm not wasting my time on that. Hey, not all at once now. C note. The war is not yet won. I don't know why I activated Dragon Life. I kind of wish I could. I'll probably have to get an aspect that increases the, uh. That increases the, uh, or not increases, but decreases the, uh, the casting time for attack arts. I still feel like that's kind of dumb, like, attack arts take casting time, but, I, I don't know. We've been spotted. It's a little dumb, in my opinion, but whatever, I didn't create this game. Okay, I was about to say, where's the gate monster I gotta fight? Ow, fuck my ear. That, it really lit. What? Monster spawn. Yo, what it Uh hello, who's charmed? Hey, not all at once now. The What the hell is going on? Oh, this is it's not a status effect. They're just a track okay. Nah, where's that irregularity at? Hey, not all at once now. Yes. Earth notes. That's actually. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of these nodes. Yes. Out more water. They found us. 
Enemy approaching. I shall be your opponent. Ha! Yeah. How's that? It seems I must step in. I still don't like the fact that uh, attack arts fucking take casting time like they're Yeah, I thought I thought there'd be a, a regular monster or something, but it doesn't seem like it. Enemy approaching. Uh, let's take a look around. Maybe I missed something. Hey, not all at once now. Yes. But if it's just the Enemy track approaching. thing, that's kind of disappointing. Whatever. Check out this beat. <laughs> Woo! That felt great. <laughs> All right. This power is now. <laughs> <laughs> I have something in that chest. You shall be a true diva magica. See now in purple wiggly. I guess I had to make the difficulty even harder to get better stuff, I guess. Good work today. Yeah. How are you? Alright, let's go to the castle. I'll just do the grimoire stuff off camera unless it's something interesting, but until then it's just like, nah. Gathering the world dragon souls? What are they trying to do? They can't be. Do they want to resurrect the world dragons? Use them against us? World dragons, eh? Hmm. Well, they've awakened the Draco Machina from their slumber, and now... I wouldn't put it past them. Remember, they've already used normal dragon souls for those damn experiments of theirs. Whatever they're doing, we have to stop them somehow. Um, sorry to interrupt, but what are the world dragons? I still don't really know. Your radiance does not know of the world dragons? I keep telling you, I'm not the shining dragon. I've never heard of the world dragons before all this. Well, you were cooped up in Gale Reds for a while. I guess it makes sense you'd be out of the loop. Well, don't worry. I can give you a little private lesson if you ask nicely. Ah, uh, thanks. So, world dragons are basically the most powerful dragons there are. They've been around since the world began. There's five of them. The Earth Dragon, the Sea Dragon, the Sky Dragon, the Dark Dragon, and the good old Shining Dragon. But at the end of Ragnarok, the World Dragons sacrificed themselves to seal Deus. Nothing was left of them but their souls. Yet thanks to the Armonix, the Shining Dragon lived on. Though his body was destroyed, his mind remained intact. There are seven Armonix in existence, all of which were created from the Shining Dragon's own body. Long before Ragnarok, the Shining Dragon created these harmonics and bestowed them upon the people as gifts. When the Shining Dragon lost his earthly form, the Dragoneers played their harmonics for him. With that power, he persisted. 
I had heard the legends of your survival, but to see you with my own eyes? Truly, I am not worthy of such honor. Point is, the world dragons were the strongest of their kind. And that's probably what the Empire is figuring, too. But the Empire has the Draco Machina. And they aren't world dragons, right? Oh, definitely not. The Draco Machina are dragons that fought on the side of Deus during Ragnarok. They say Deus created them, but their power practically matches the world dragons. They're kind of legends themselves. After Deus got sealed away, the Draco Machina basically went dormant. And now, Princess Excel has woken him up for herself. I think I get it. Legends say that Deus held power beyond any mortal, and aimed to use that power to reforge the world anew. The world dragons rose to oppose Deus, with the Shining Dragon in their number. Besides the Shining Dragon, there are four other world dragons. The Empire's got the Earth Dragon souls, so... At least three. That's assuming the Empire hasn't snapped up any others by now. Right. But it's not like they could get all of them this fast. It'd be great to get all three, but we need at least one. I cannot be certain, but I believe I know where to begin the search. The High Elves who allied with the World Dragons would have honored their souls and kept them safe in shrines. Yet I fear they would be nothing but ruins after so many years undisturbed. As we have discovered no such sanctums in the kingdom so far, there must be ruins yet undiscovered in this land. If we aim to find the World Dragon souls, I expect we will find them there. It's not a lot to go on, but it's better than nothing. Let's head into town and see what information we can dig up. <laughs> Keep it up. I'm counting on you. Wait, possession, don't you mean my loved ones? No, we're not doing that here. That is a dumb plot line that Zestaria cooked up. I'm like, no, man. Oh, <laughs> uh, no. The malevolent shit was the most annoying thing of Zestaria, but that's a whole different thing for a whole other day. Do it. Do it for the views. Wait, do what for the views? Yeah. Oh, I see. Did you need something? <laughs> Just a pinch of... Oops. Ruins, huh? You want something other than the places everyone knows? Right. We're looking for any information on more out-of-the-way places. If you have any suggestions, we'd appreciate it. Well, I don't know about any actual ruins, but... You know Ladlam Caverns? That's where we went to say Primula. Yeah, they say that it was formed when part of the plane suddenly caved in a long time ago. Nobody knows exactly what's down there. Maybe that's what you're looking for? Might be some ancient ruins stuck in the back of that old cave, huh? This seems as promising a lead as any. I believe we should investigate. But if you're gonna check it out, be careful. I've been hearing some strange rumors about... I hear the place is haunted. Chock full of ghosts. <laughs> ghosts? Oh, no. My goodness, Agnum, are you all right? You've gone so pale. Uh, nope. Uh, all good. Just, uh, just peachy. What kind of ghosts? Children. If you go deep enough into the caves, undead children will stalk you from the shadows. <sighs> Just reaching out to you and screaming, get out, get out. Nigga, is this corpse party or shining resonance refrain? Pick one. Really, that's great. I can't speak for the accuracy of ghost stories, but regardless, it seems we are bound for Ladlam Caverns. Right, 
Let's go check it out. All right, let's bond diagram. Dang, we almost got the full support thing done. As well, grind this up while I have it. Just a pinch of polka. What are we making? How much? How much? And done. How much? And done. See you around. All right, let's go get close to that cave. Or, you know what, screw it. Oh? Y'all already know what I'm about. Welcome back. Good luck. Get some rest. What's up, Kirika? Mind if we talk for a bit? Did you need something? By all means. Uh, were you in the middle of something? <sighs> uh, merely reading a book. You need not worry, though. I have reached a perfect stopping point. Reading, huh? I'm sure to figure you'd enjoy that kind of thing. What kind of book is it? Wonderful. Biography of a hero of a faraway land. His story struck me as somewhat similar to ours. Eh, yeah, sounds interesting. Maybe I'll start reading it- reading something? I would be happy to lend you the- lend you a book. I think my collection has something that will suit any taste. What would you like? Uh. Fuck- okay. Once you're done, would you join me for discussion on its themes? It would be quite- No, I fucked up! No! I fucked up. See you tomorrow. Hold on. How far? How far was it that I last saved? Does anybody in chat remember? How far was it that I last saved? Anyone remember? No, you assholes! <laughs> no! Ah, uh, god damn it. You know what? I'm fine. This is fine. This is fine. Sonya, you dumb motherfucker. Whatever. Alright, let's just put everybody back in our normal outfits. I think I've talked I think I've hung out with every chick. Hello. Except for the guys. I have a separate file for that one. Hello? <laughs> yeah, you don't answer.
Let me just save on a different file. Okay, this quest line is just not fucking worth it. I mean, you can farm promo and sandwiches, but still, it's not fucking worth it. Good night. Evening. Yoma, are you free right now? Oh, Rena, yeah, I am. Eh, what's in your hands, Rena? <laughs> and you want to see? Well, take a look at that. Oh, what a good, what a gorgeous butterfly! Isn't it cute? It was flying nearby, so I caught it. You caught a flying butterfly in your hands? That's impressive, Rena. You have skills with your hands for butterflies. I mean, Yay! <laughs> pretty cool, huh? When I was a kid, I used to go out and catch butterflies and grasshoppers with my bare hands. I was pretty, I was a pretty hyperactive kid. Uh, if you can believe that, then I'm, I'm... But now I'm a sophisticated, mature lady. And totally not that chick who gave you that music box when you when I was a kid. They really didn't try to hide that. I might be wrong. Who knows? I might be totally wrong on this. But this game really doesn't hide it considering that Reyna sounds exactly... Or at least semi-similar to that child in the flashbacks. Maybe Reyna hasn't changed much as she thinks. She's kind of, she's still kind of a kid, even, even showing off the bug that she caught. Um. Um, hey, what's with that smile? You're making fun of me now, the nerve. No, Ren, it's not like that. I was just thinking that you seem really innocent and cute. Oh, well, if that's the case, I'll forgive you this time. Good night now, Yuma. No! What? <laughs> Nigga, what? You don't get to see that to her? Man. Well, Scarlet, a lot of this stuff will be on YouTube anyway, so you can just look at that or past, you know, stuff. Cause I don't think I actually archive a lot of my shit, do I? Oh, you little troglodyte. There wasn't even an option there! There wasn't even an option for, like, choosing anything there. All right. Enemy approaching. I might have to talk to them at like a campsite, maybe. We've been spotted. Bad ending coming in hot. Oh my god. All right. Huh? What's wrong, Lady Kirka? I sent a dragon soul, but I did not send I didn't sense anything last time we were here. Is it a world dragon? I cannot say. It's still too far away. But is a dragon soul of some kind nearby, without a doubt. We should investigate further. We've been spotted. Oh, we've been spotted! Yeah. We've been spotted. Alright. Right. Hmm? That's... It's a kid. There's a kid here. 
It's true, so it wasn't a rumor. What's going on? I can sense a dragon soul, and it's coming from that child. A ghost and a dragon soul? Why? I don't know. But a dragon soul is definitely involved somehow. We must follow that child. Uh, you know, we really gotta follow that kid. What's wrong, Agnum? Do you not want to? Uh, I usually have this thing with ghosts. Are you afraid of the undead, Agnum? Don't be ridiculous. I'm not afraid of the undead. It's just, well, ghosts are different. Hey, wait, where are you going? We're going out of child, of course. If you'd rather right here, then take a seat. Ah, fine, whatever. I'll go, like I have a choice. Uh, let's see. Autumn's trait, anything but ghosts. Wow, okay, so this one literally... Let me actually see, does it do anything? Or is it just one of those? Yeah, it does absolutely nothing. And it prevents him from linking with other people. Huh. The uh, heck? Guy talk. Wait, what? Just guys talking. There's not much to say. What? Huh? Uh, I'm not even gonna question that. I'm just gonna... Yeah, let's not do that. Let's just not do that and say we didn't. That is like the worst thing I could probably see right now. There, over there. You good, Agnum? Here we go. Yeah, I'm good. Huh? That child. I feel like I've seen that child before. But who is it? I can't remember. Is it gone? That's weird. We couldn't have missed. Missed who? Ah! <sighs> Careful, everyone. They're carrying a dragon soul. I can sense it. You shouldn't be here. Get out now. Why does it sound like Uzume? Get out. Get out. Get out, or pay the price. All right, you little ghost. You want some of this? Wait. Yuma, what's wrong? I know her. I mean, I know them. What? You, you saying this ghost is a friend of yours? She's not a ghost. I met her a few times back at Galritz. There were twins there, and she's the sister. Sister? No, I'm a boy. My name's Et. Don't get us mixed up. Uh. Uh. What the fuck? Wait, you're the brother? Something wrong, Yuma? Uh, never mind. Sorry about that. So, you remember me, huh? Yeah. My sister Marion liked you for some reason. What? I think that's enough chit chat for now, Et. Yoim! <laughs> 
My, it's been a while. You know this guy too? Yeah. He was at Gelrit's prison too. He's the Magus that was experimenting on us. <laughs> oh, the time we had together in Gelrit's. Didn't you have fun? That sounds really creeper-like. Fun? I never want to be part of your sick experiments again. Oh, really? A shame. It certainly was fun for me. Just remembering your screams gives me such a rush. Why does he remember that creepy motherfucker from fucking um, Tokyo Ghoul? You, you guys know the one. The guy who has like the fetish for blood. You gave me quite a shock, you know. All that time and you managed to hide the shining dragon from my analytic sacrament. I've kept your cell nice and warm. Be a good little guinea pig and come back to me. I'll take care of you. Listen to me. I'm never going back. Is that so? Then I'm afraid you leave me no choice. Et? Uh. Et, are you listening? I'm giving you an order. Teach those ingrates a lesson. Fine. Et! Et, stop. You don't have to listen to him. You can come with us. And why are you packing heat? Shut up! Yo, why is she packing heat? Why are you packing heat though? What's going on? Shut up, it's not your problem. And yes, I'm going all out on the child. I will beat the shit out of it. in the magic oculum curious curious indeed i've never observed this kind of feedback before i wonder what could be causing it <laughs> hello in there are you all right Ed? damn it damn it i i'm <laughs> <laughs> ah of course i see now it's the Shining Dragon. It's possible the dragon soul was exposed to the Shining Dragon for too long, and now there's some struggle for control. I suppose that's only natural, since the eye was only implanted with a common dragon soul. Implanted? Et, have you calmed down? <sighs> the pain's starting to go away. I think I'm okay now. Indeed. Good. Well, I see no ruins here. I doubt I'll find any of the world dragons either. A shame, but it seems I've wasted my time. And I can hardly capture the shining dragon like this. Perhaps it's time I called it a day. Time to go, Et. Wait, what was that about your eye? Shut up. 
that? He's gone. Guess the Flash was just to let him escape. Et, why are you doing this? Yuma, were you friends with that boy? I knew him, but we weren't really that close. We just saw each other now and then. Apparently, I didn't even know them well enough to tell them apart. I guess I was wrong about what happened to Ed. What do you mean? Back when I was at Galrit's prison, I overheard... It sounded like they put Ed through some insane experiment. And he didn't survive. Damn. But that was him, right? I guess. I must have misunderstood. Either that experiment never happened, or... Or maybe it was actually Marion that died. I'm not sure. I see. I can no longer sense a dragon soul. Its aura faded with Et's departure. Whatever else this cavern may hold, it appears there are no world dragon souls here. Back to square one. So where are we supposed to look now? Hmm. Well, if we're searching for ruins, there could be some records left. Might be time for some research in the castle library. Oh, good idea. I'll give you a hand with that. Wait, you? Hey, don't give me that look. I study ancient history sometimes, okay? It's not a big deal. Besides, I'm a seasoned traveler, a man of the world. I know the lay of the land here in Alfheim. Wow, I guess you wandering off on your own actually came in handy for once. Okay, let's do it. Well, now we've got that figured out, let's head back to Astoria. Rinna, Agnum, I'm counting on you guys. Don't worry, we're on the case. <laughs> I think once I go about the end, I'm probably gonna actually cut the episode. Et, how's that eye? Has the pain gone down? I'm fine. I can barely feel it anymore. Hmm. Well, that confirms it. The presence of the Shining Dragon was causing some kind of interference. The question is, how to proceed? If the Shining Dragon has the power to influence the magic oculum, ultimately that power may cause serious stress upon the eye, or even control it directly. Most concerning. The Shining Dragon's power is a potent force indeed. What's this about the Shining Dragon? Oh, if it isn't zest in the flesh. What brings you here? Skip the small talk. Tell me about the Shining Dragon. Oh, that. Et and I were out searching for world dragon souls when we happened upon the dragon ears. Looks to me like they cut your little puppet strings. In a word, yes. But one wonders what they were doing there in the first place. They may even be after the world dragon souls themselves. Really? So the shining dragon's around here, huh? I won't get my hopes up, but I guess I might as well go see what he looks like. Hmm? Did you say something? Nah, nothing important. Hey, Yoahim. If the Shining Dragon's wandering around here, your investigation will get pretty risky. I could come along, if you want. You? Well, it certainly would be reassuring to have a guard of your caliber along. But it begs one question. Why? I'm bored out of my mind is why. Better out in the world than stuck at the base. Yeah, this will be a lot more fun. <laughs> I'm sure. Well, in any case, welcome aboard. We'll leave as soon as I finish recalibrating Ant. Any idea where we're headed? Oh, I know exactly where we're going. And a world dragon's soul awaits us, ripe for the picking.
Have Rena and Agnum returned yet? They've been gone for some time. They've been cooped up in the archives since we got back. Sounds like they're having a hard time finding anything. Makes sense. The Royal Library's stuffed with all kinds of old records, tomes. If that is the case, I imagine they will be a while longer. I shall retire to my room. Please excuse me. Leaving? Yes. I intend to prepare my supplies, so that I may leave at a moment's notice. Fair enough. Maybe I'll go do some maintenance on my weapon. I can wait here then. I'll go get you when they come back. Really? Thanks. I should be going. Excuse me. <sighs> I don't mind waiting, but it's kind of boring. Huh? Is it just you here? Where'd everybody go? Huh? Oh, they went to their rooms to get their things ready. But I just made everyone some tea. Hmm. You want some? Sure, thanks. Ooh. What's up? That's a pretty music box. Is it yours? Huh? Oh, this? Yeah, it's mine. I was just bored, so I thought I'd take a look at it. What song does it play? Let me hear, let me hear. Oh, sorry. I actually don't have the key to wind it, so I can't play it. Huh? You're carrying around a music box you can't play? That's kind of weird. I don't remember the details, but there was a girl who rescued me when I was little. She gave this to me. Oh, it sounds pretty important to you, huh? I'm sorry I said it was weird. No, it's okay. It probably just looks like a plain old box to anyone else. To be honest, I can't even remember her face. But I've always hoped I'd see her again. So I can't just get rid of it, you know? Wow. I guess you better take good care of it then. Yeah. <gasps> Whoa, what was that? They've done it, I say. They've finally done it. Rina and Agnum have found another unexplored ruin. Really? Really and truly, they're waiting just outside. So please prepare to leave at once. I'll be right there. Oh, I should get Sonia and Kirika. Now let us sally forth. Onward to the Jingarna ruins. <laughs>